Hi everybody, today is August 15th, 2013. I would think this would have an effect on property values. Also, it should make you think about relocating if you live in this area. Nuke leak would prompt Cape Cod evacuation. A new report says a radiation leak from Plymouth's Pilgrim nuclear power plant would prompt about half of Cape Cod's permanent residents to flee. A situation activists and officials said would cause momental traffic jams. The survey was put together by the Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency and the Barnstable County Regional Emergency Planning Committee and paid for by the Entity Corporation, Pilgrim's owner and operator. About 500 people completed the telephone query. People were asked what would prompt them to evacuate and how many cars they have would take them where they want to go. Cape Cod has about 222,000 year-round residents, a number that doubles during vacation season. George Baker, chairman of the Regional Emergency Committee, tells the Cape Cod Times, the survey is an important disaster planning tool. At least half the permanent residents of the Cape would race for the bridge should the Pilgrim nuclear power plant have a radioactive relief. According to a telephone survey paid for by Entity Corporation, the owner and operator of the Plymouth-based power plant, their original evacuation plan is based on a very small number of shadow evacuees. Baker said the survey tells them a very large group of people will evacuate. One question asked whether Cape residents would leave following a nuclear incident if they were told the people in the emergency planning zone, the 10-mile circle around the plant, had been instructed to evacuate. A whooping 70% said they would clear out. A second question asked whether they would leave if told they lived outside the emergency planning zone. None of the Cape falls within the 10-mile radius. About 50% said they would evacuate anyways. And that just shows you, because of Fukushima, I imagine how many people are waking up. You know, from that, they know that the radiation could go extreme distances. It goes on to say that if there was an accident, there could be huge consequences, Baker said. We feel the chance of that happening is low, but because the result is catastrophic, it behoves us to prepare for it, particularly when you're looking at these evacuation numbers. MEMA spokesman Travis Hengen said the primary purpose of the survey is to help emergency planners gauge how traffic coming from the Cape would impact the evacuation of people who actually do live in the emergency planning zone, such as residents of Plymouth. And here's a scary thought for you guys living there. Areas beyond the emergency planning zone don't have evacuation plans specifically tailored to nuclear incidents. They have general plans relating to all emergencies. You know, you should never rely on the government for any type of emergency. Hurricane Katrina is a good example of that. MEMA, Barnstable County Regional Emergency Planning Committee, and Energy haven't met to discuss the survey results. Hengen said, yeah, it just shows you people need to learn to take care of themselves. The government has made people so dependent upon them, the government as big brother, and it's all a means of control that people just don't think for themselves. Well, it just shows you, you need to think for yourself. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.